So Koki Pirate asked me during my video below links link below about New Year's Eve and questions. If you have any suggestions about my video and I types of videos post down below, subscribe to Koki Pirate. He's a very good YouTuber. I love a lot of his videos. He's worth subbing to. But he asked me about gender. And this is something that frankly I've always had some pretty strong ideas on. Um, for instance, you know, as I've said in previous videos, a lot of what I consider that are supposed to be feminine or masculine are social constructs. The men wear jeans, the women wear dresses. The men is the house and the head of the house, and the women is to look after the look after the children and whatnot. There is nothing inherently one way or the other. Certain sexes might, to some extent, lean one way or the other, but this doesn't really make them the definitive. And it's really annoyed me when I hear people talk in such black and white methods. You know, particular social constructs that I really find appalling is the idea that men have to woo the woman. You know, it's always the men that have to take the woman on a date and buy her beautiful things and whatnot. Why is it the woman allowed to do it sometimes? I mean, if the man wants to, that's one thing. The woman, But, I mean, it seems sort of this idea that if a man buy, um, accepts gifts from women, he's using her. But if a woman accepts gifts from men, that's just, you know, natural. And things are changing a lot, and they have improved, but I still see this kind of mentality in a lot of things, especially watching court TV. And yes, I know they're part reality, but, you know, I see, you know, when a man gets gifts from a woman in a lot of these cases, it he gets berated for accepting these things. The women do occasionally too, but it always seems to be more the man that gets in trouble for it. And, you know, <clears throat> Judge Joe Brown, I like a lot of his videos. I love a lot of his court cases. But he see, you know, even his own tagline is, you know, promoting manhood and protecting womanhood. This whole idea that there is a particular manhood and womanhood, that it's a strict line that... Men are supposed to protect the family and provide and whatnot. Yes, they should, but I mean, the way he says it, it always seems sort of misogynistic to me. Maybe someone who likes it can explain a bit more, but it's just something that's kind of frustrated me. I guess it's part of the old school beliefs, you know, that, you know, men and women are such strict lines. And I, I think a woman should be just as capable and allowed to be just as capable of doing anything a man does and vice versa. You know, there might be some small delineating factors like, you know, the strongest man is always going to be stronger than the strongest woman. But on average, the strongest woman is still going to kick the ass of 60 to 50 or more percent of guys, you know. <laughs> you know, just because the extremes aren't equal doesn't mean that there isn't still equality there and room for equality. You know, anybody should be allowed to do whatever they want within reason. <clears throat> I don't think sex, gender, or whatnot should be an issue. You know, and it's, I don't know, kind of bothersome, you know that society puts these strict ideas of what is masculine and what is feminine. You know, can anybody, and I've asked this before, give me an example of something that is entirely masculine, that isn't a social construct outside of physical appearance. Obviously, women have beat breasts, usually, and men have the bits between the legs. But can, is there anything about a particular job that is masculine? Anything about a particular clothing that is masculine or feminine? 
And if so, how and why? And what can you use to determine this? What makes a dress entirely feminine? What's the difference between a dress and a kilt? And other such things that look similar. What's the difference between a toga and a full evening dress? Like what makes one thing feminine and one thing masculine or neutral? So I would like to know, if you can give me any definitive answers on this, please do. Because I really dislike, as I've said a couple of times in this video, these strict black and white ideas of what's feminine and what's masculine. It doesn't leave room for, for people to be themselves. Also, physically, genders aren't always that simple. You have hermaphrodites. You have women that have male, that have the Y chromosome. But for whatever reason, she didn't develop like a guy. Even though she is internally, in many cases, male. But externally, she's female. And so on. You, know, you have people who, for whatever reason, feel they're more man or more woman, even though their body doesn't show it. So I don't even see how we can determine definitively if one person's male or female based on who they are, let alone based upon clothing or something. I mean, about the only 100% <coughs> definitive female anatomy that I can think of I mean, sort of clothing, is a bra. Though I'm sure there might be examples. That's the only thing because of the difference there. But I don't see... But even then, I don't see why a guy couldn't do it, wear one. I'm just saying that's about the only thing that I could see that is definitively feminine. But and maybe you guys can have an example where males have something like that. That could show that wrong, because I'm curious. I do want to be proven wrong in this. Show me something that is definitively woman other than the bra. That you can prove to me that it's 100% female and something wrong for a male to wear. So let me know what you think. Um, comment below if you have any ideas.